Hi there, today we're going to be running through my top 10 add-ons for Home Assistant in 2025. Now recently I noticed that only 30% of the people that watch my videos have subscribed. If you're finding this content useful, it would be great if you can subscribe. You can always unscribe at any stage. So my first add-on here is ESP Home Device Builder. ESP Home is a fantastic add-on to Home Assistant. This basically allows you to create your own custom sensors using a massive library that they've got of all sorts of little devices. And you can basically create using one of these ESP32 devices, you can create basically any sort of DIY sensor that you could want. Next up, we've got File Editor. File Editor is really useful. It is basically an add-on that allows you to go in and edit the configuration files within Home Assistant. And this, there is another one available called Studio Code Server, and they're both much of a muchness. Some people prefer one over the other. Next up, we've got Frigate. Frigate is basically an open source NVR. Um, this basically allows you to record content from your security cameras and then to run various sort of sensors, AI detection sensors. And often these are much better than the AI detection that you might find available on your camera already. Next up, we've got Hex. Hex has got to be an absolute favorite. This is the Home Assistant community store. So this is where you can go along and download all sorts of add-ons and integrations that have been created by the Home Assistant community. Bear in mind, there may be issues when running these, but honestly, the number that I've run and had no issues has been absolutely fantastic and it's made it really, really well worth my while. Next one would be MetaServer. Now MetaServer is becoming more and more useful these days. I've got a number of Meta devices running in my home at the moment. And although these were quite unreliable in the beginning, they're now becoming better and better. Um, I also am planning to run the Thread Border Router in the future. At the moment, I'm running my Meta over Thread using my Apple HomeKit device. Next up is the Mosquito Broker. This is an MQTT broker, which basically allows you to uh, communicate over MQTT with various devices that may not have other integrations available to them. Music Assistant, I've got a video showing you all about Music Assistant. This is an absolutely amazing add-on where you can basically pull in all the artists and titles and music from various things like Spotify, Apple Music, etc. And you can then stream this out to various speakers within your home. A really, really popular add-on. Next up, we've got the three uh, from the um, Home Assistant Voice, Local Voice Control. Now, these are required if you want to use voice control. First of all, Piper. This is the text to speech. This is what gives your Home Assistant a voice and then we have whisper which is speech to text so this is where home assistant is under able to understand your voice and convert it into data that it needs to understand you finally they've added this one called speech to phrase and what that does is effectively it makes the um, local voice able to work faster by recognizing specific phrases, but it does limit the number of phrases that it can access. So those are my top 10. Please let me know what are yours. Please let me know what your add-ons are that you're running and if I've missed any good ones. See you in the next one. Bye for now.